welcome to another edition of Friday with Frazier. It is our hope and our prayer that your families are safe and, and that the distance learning and the continuous learning model that we put in place is working for you and your families. Uh, I want you to know that this is a, an interesting time that we're all in, uh, but we do believe that with adversity uh, that there is great opportunity and we are going to use this time as teachers and as professionals, uh, as we're experimenting and doing different things and delivering instruction in a different way, uh, we're going to use this time as an opportunity uh, to improve and to be better. Uh, I also want to reach out to the families right now to let you know that if there's any difficulties or concerns with the distance model that we put into place, uh, I want to reach out and please contact your principals. Uh, we are striving to serve you in the best way that we can. And uh, we want to do that in, in an expeditious manner. So please contact them. Feel free to do that. We've heard some great stories from our teachers and our families. Uh, very proud of the work that the teachers are doing. Uh, we are extremely creative as teachers. And I think that uh, that is being shown right now with our families. We're hearing great stories. So we're excited about uh, excited about that. But again, if there's any concerns or issues, uh, please reach out. Uh, it's our goal to serve this community. We have, uh, we are still serving meals uh, on a daily basis from 1030 to 1230 at four of our sites. Uh, yesterday, we served over 1100 meals. Uh, that number continues to grow. So please, if you are in need uh, for lunch and breakfast, please check our website or our apps uh, for our four delivery sites uh, and utilize that. Also on Friday, we're going to uh, be delivering uh, some STEM kits, and we're excited about that, some extra activities for our students at that time. And also on Fridays, we are also doing our backpack program to give food uh, over the weekend. So our responsibility, we believe, uh, is to serve this community, and hopefully you can see us in action. We believe that in times that are of the worst, that we need to be at our best, and we are striving to do that every single day, and we need your input to do that. As teachers, one of the things that we constantly talk about is what is our why? Why do we do what we do? The reality is uh, two and a half years ago when I met with each one of our teachers, almost to the person, each one of them said the exact same thing. It's the reason they became a teacher so they could have an impact in lives or change lives forever. I want you to know that our commitment is still the same that regardless of whether or not the brick and mortar building is closed, we are still here to change lives and to serve your students. Uh, again, I'm so proud of what our teachers are doing and, and they continue to do. And again, let's seize this moment as an opportunity to improve. I truly do believe that what we're experiencing as, as a nation will make us better. But as a profession, I believe that as educators, we will be different forever after this time. And I think it will make us better and stronger to improve student learning. Hang on, go. Monday night at the board meeting, it was our pleasure to vote on and to approve the new principal at Westside Elementary, Miss Susie Hines. Uh, Miss Hines has been the interim uh, since January, She's done a fabulous job for us, and uh, she was approved on the board. We are so excited to have her. We're excited of things to come at Westside Elementary. So congratulations, Ms. Hines, and uh, we're looking forward to the things to come. As I mentioned earlier, we certainly are missing your, your children, and we miss our students greatly. Uh, one of the things that is going on across the country is a movement called Hashtag Be The Light. And on April the 20th at 2020 time, military time, which is 820 for the civilians that aren't military, we're gonna hit our lights, for 20 minutes uh, in recognition of the class of 2020. We certainly miss and love every one of our students, but our hearts are especially um, thinking of and our minds are thinking of the class of 2020. Uh, what a difficult time for them as seniors to go through, but we want to recognize them in a very special way. Once again, on April the 20th at 2020 or 8.20 p.m. for 20 minutes, the lights will be shown on the football field, on the baseball field, at Legion Field, and also on the softball field. Uh, hashtag be the light. There is light at the end of the tunnel. 
We will get through this together. As always, it's a great day to be a Zebra.